Did you realize that you can now link externally from annotations within your YouTube videos to your external website? Yes, Google and YouTube themselves have now released the feature where you can associate a website and link externally from every one of your videos. Just think about the power of this and how you can promote your own personal website by linking externally with annotations within your YouTube videos. You can now drive traffic from YouTube directly to your web pages from these videos and this is actually a fantastic feature in my opinion that YouTube are allowing us to do. What we're going to do in this video is I'm going to show you exactly the steps that you need to take to set yourself up and be able to link externally from your YouTube videos within your annotations across to your associated website. Now what you do need to do is verify your YouTube account and you also need to associate a website. Now don't worry I've got you covered because in this video we're also going to show you that. Okay we have now created a new YouTube channel and what I've just done is I have verified my account. That's all I've done. I have went in, I have verified YouTube have basically, or Google have basically sent me an SMS verification code and I've literally just entered this and this is the result I've been returned. Now one of the very first things that you will need to do is verify your account if you want to enable your external annotations. So go and follow the procedure which is basically go in and get Google to send you an SMS text with a verification code, enter this code and then you'll be forwarded to this screen here which is the success screen. So if I click continue, we'll carry on into our features. And here you'll see now that it says my account status is now verified. I have a verified account. The next thing that we need to do for enabling these external links is enable monetization. We want to click this enable and f follow through basically the steps that we're given here. So if I click enable, you'll see it says enable my account we say yes we have read and agreed the terms we agree that we'll not click on google ads and they will not opt in any content yes to all accept and you'll see here now we're returned back to this screen and if i go back into the channel settings you'll see that the monetization is now enabled as well what it also allows us to do is external annotations has now popped up and it allows us to link annotations to external sites but what we need to do is we need to enter the site we need to enter one site and verify the site that we want to link to so to do that what we need to do is we need to come down and into the advanced channel settings so once we get into the advanced section you'll see here there's different sections of information that we can enter one of the sections of course is the associated website and because I want to link this to an associated website and I already have my own personal blog associated with my existing channel, I'm going to add my old blog into this section here. However, when you're entering uh, this for the first time, well then you can enter your main domain name. So I've entered my old blog name and I will select add. The reason I'm specifically adding this website is because I know it's not verified. So I click add and you'll see here it's now telling us it's pending. What we need to do is request approval from the website owner or we can verify that we own it. We want to verify that we own it so we want to click this link. What actually happens is a new tab in the browser opens up and it takes us across to Google Webmaster Tools. What we need to do is download an HTML verification file and then we need to upload it into the root of this domain name. This is actually quite easy to do if you have, if you're able to use any of the FTP programs to upload files into your root of your web domain. Well, then this will only take you a couple of seconds. If you're not sure how to do it, I'm sure you can ask around and people will be able to help you. It literally is a two-minute job. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to download this file. I'm going to upload it to the root of this domain name and then I'm going to come back into this portion of the video and we'll carry on from there. Okay once you have actually downloaded your file and then uploaded it into the root of your domain name the third step that you need to do is confirm a successful upload by visiting the following link. What I'll do is click the link so once you click the link you'll see it takes you across to the actual HTML file and it 
by seeing this code here to the top of the screen, it actually means you've successfully uploaded the file to the correct location. What you then need to do is come back to your steps within Google Webmasters and step four is click verify below. Obviously if you don't see that uh, text file on the previous tab, well then you've done something wrong and what you need to do is basically go to the very root of your domain, the public side of your domain and upload or re-upload that HTML file until you see this particular line of code. Once you see that line of code then you can click verify. You'll see here now it's Webmaster Central is telling you that this website is now verified. You can use Google services and your Webmaster tools and you can also use external annotations from within YouTube. Now that we have completed the verification process, what I'm doing is I've come back across to my YouTube advanced settings and I'm now going to click refresh. You'll see here now it's telling us that it's been a success. Uh, the associated website is now associated with this particular account. Now we can click save to update all of our options. So that's it, it now tells us our changes were saved. We now have an associated website that we can use for external annotation links. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to upload a video into this channel and the reason we're uploading this video is because we're wanting to create external annotation links from within the video. So I'm going to pause the video here and I'll come back once the video is uploaded and we're ready to proceed. Okay, we have now uploaded the video uh, sitting here in our channel and what we want to do is we want to come up to my channel and then select video manager. We want to go into video manager and then select edit for the video. So now that we're within the video editor, what we're wanting to do is actually add in annotations. So if I click the annotations, you'll see here that the editor plate opens up. But what it also does is it shows a big blue box saying enable your account for external annotation links. What you want to do is over on the right hand side click the enable button to enable your account for these external annotation links. So clicking that box brings up terms and conditions that obviously you need to read and follow. And once you accept these terms and conditions, accept it with clicking the button. So we can basically now close this box um, what we're wanting to do is add annotation. So I'll come in here and enter a speech bubble. And I'll put. So I have entered the term, why not visit my website and click here. Uh, what we'll do is we'll play about with the font size. So I have now played about with the font size. I've given it a fill color and you'll see this is the link here. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to position this on the video where we want it to display during the video. What we can also do is select a start and an end time. You can have it for the whole video. You can have it for specific points within your video. So that means if you happen to mention something or say something within your video, well then you can time the link to appear at that point within the video. In this example, what we're going to do is we're going to create this for the full length of the video. Now that I've set the length of time and the actual annotation, what I now need to do is insert a link. You'll see here when you click the link option, another area appears and it gives you the options for your link. What we want to do is we want to link to our associated website and then we want to enter a valid URL. So I have now selected associated website. I've selected the website that I associated with this channel and you have the option to preview the link. You can basically click this link and check that the link works. Once you're happy with it, well then what you need to do is publish this option. Now that you have published your options, what you want to do is view this video in another tab. Literally watch the video and watch out for your annotation. If I shut this up, you'll see here we have the why not visit my website, click here and it's actually telling you where you're going to go. This is now a live annotation link and it links externally to your associated website. So that's it, I hope you can see just how powerful this is going to be for your videos moving forward. This now permits you to basically link from your YouTube videos across to your website. And this is now a fantastic method for driving traffic from YouTube, which is one of the most visited websites on the internet. You're able to draw some of that traffic across and over into your associated website. This is a brilliant feature and you should use this on nearly every single one of your videos.
So that's it for this video in creating external links from your annotations. Thanks a lot for watching. My name's Chris Cole and I'll speak to you again tomorrow.